and welcome back to the show. We're reaching the final stretch of this hour, so we'll get some final thoughts from each of you, and we'll start to my left, Majed. Thank you. I think my final message is for the uh, Chinese communist regime themselves. Um, if I may say something, and I know that they will be watching the show, and I know it will be receiving a lot of hate emails for the next little while. You are not winning. Uh, you are trying to divide our nations who are more united than ever. You are bribing, trying to bribe everybody, but not everybody is for sale or rent. Many of us is not for sale and rent. You are trying to imitate and scare our politicians, but there is some of us, many of us, that willing to die for the truth. The truth here is that for a very long time, you've been killing the Uyghurs, the Falun Gong, the Tibetans, the Christians, and the whole world being silenced. And now, because we've been silenced for a very long time, you start to attack us directly, because our silence now is starting to hurt us as a world in total. But we are waking up. Every COVID operation that you are making is start to be exposed. You are not winning, and you will not be winning. The truth here is that the only thing that I need you to remember, you are the one is hiding behind your big walls. I am not. I am a free man. And the, and the reality that they can, you can always kill the believers, but nobody can kill the believer of our hearts. You can always kill the dreamer, but no one can kill the dream. If you think that you are the sleeping dragon, my name is Majid Shafi. I'm easy to find. Come meet the awakened line. Thank you. Well, this has all been uh, quite interesting for me. Um, I'm a member of the Foreign Affairs Committee in Iceland, and uh, I think Iceland can learn from, from the Canadian playbook, as I mentioned. Uh, but I, I, my opinion is that this inquiry should take place, and these allegations must be investigated. Uh, otherwise, it looks like the politicians are hiding something. And I think it's good for the Prime Minister that, that uh, this inquiry will take place from his political point of view. So. For me, and, and what, you know, what I want to support in, on this, in this fight is for all the Chinese diaspora communities uh, throughout the world uh, to make people aware of the abusive regime. And as you know, just, just the other day, and I'll just read from the China Nexus very briefly, but one, one, par uh, one paragraph from Nathan Law, who was sanctioned and a bounty put on his head. Two of Optimum's contributors of the eight are, have a bounty on their head now. And these are the people that I bring their voices to the world so people can hear their passion. And if we want to talk about democracy, this is what we need to, to, to see from Nathan Law. And freedom is not free. Sometimes it is costly. It is costly to maintain it, and it will cost you much more when you try to retake it after it is lost. The first step of stopping complacency is to learn the stories of people who are resisting the rise of authoritarianism. It is never too late to pick up a book and delve into their world. Nathan Law, May of 2022. Canada needs to stand still for freedom, human rights, and uh, the safety of Canadians. Then don't sell us to the Chinese communists because uh, many politicians, they try to be old friends from the Chinese. And uh, Xi Jinping wants to be the number one leader of the world. Mm -hmm. And uh, please look at the situation of Uyghurs, Tibetans, Wat Falun Gong, and uh, um, underground church people, and uh, even the ordinary Chinese. So don't let Xi Jinping to win the battle. Because uh, as Majid mentioned, they are not going to win, but still is a very, very hard battle that Canada need to stand still and uh, make us as safe Canadians. And Sam. Uh, I really have enjoyed uh, sharing in the knowledge with the panelists and, and uh, it, it's such a pleasure. I would agree with the panelists that say we need a public inquiry, of course. It needs to be uh, more than one person as we've heard. It needs to hear from experts in Australia, the United States. Remember, a, a jury in New York just about a week ago convicted a former New York police officer and two Chinese Americans of acting for a foreign state to directly threaten and endanger American citizens. This is not happening in Canada. Why? We lack the laws 
Why? This is what an inquiry will teach us. And I'll leave you with this thought. People often ask me, where are my investigations going? I'm just struck that everything does connect through what we've called the United Front Work Department so that the police networks that threaten communities, the donors that approach our politicians, the uh, students that are tasked to uh, suck out technology from our universities, they're all being directed by intelligence within this united front. Indeed, it does all connect, and that's what an inquiry needs to get to the bottom of two uh, in Canada. And with that, our discussion comes to a close. If you have further comments or questions, please feel free to reach out to us by sending us an email, comments at thezoomer.com. Thank you to my panel for your thoughtful and your profound insights, and to you at home. We'll see you soon. For now, it's time to zoom out.